Thank you for joining us for two news at five. First tonight, local doctors are seeing an uptick in highly contagious respiratory illnesses, specifically pertussis, also known as whooping cough. There have been 27 reported cases in Montgomery County this year already. That is more than double the reported cases in all of 2022. Two news reporter Aliyah Seabrooks is live here in the studio, digging deeper into how parents can protect their kids. Aliyah. Brooke and John, local doctors tell me that during this time of year, children and adults simply have a lot fewer opportunities to get outside. And when we're in close quarters like the office or a classroom, sickness can spread a lot more quickly. Um, that characteristic type where they're cough, 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 cough and can't catch their breath and then ooh, kind of sound. Dr. Kendall Ayers, the emergency department medical director at Mercy Health, says if your child is developing pertussis, they may have congestion, runny nose, and a fever. But in about seven days, that develops into a worsening cough. Especially in younger children, they will get coughing to the point of them vomiting with the coughing fit. That's one of the things that really kind of throws a red flag up for us. Dr. Ayers says not having an updated Tdap vaccination poses a big risk to children whose lungs are not strong enough to fight back against those highly contagious respiratory illnesses. In children under 12 months, it can be fatal. Um, there are more fatalities in that age group than any other age group just because of how it affects the lungs. She recommends that parents with newborns reevaluate their vaccination history along with everyone else in the home. Dr. Nancy Pook, head of emergency services at Kettering Health, stresses that being vaccinated can not only help protect young children. She says when vaccinated people older than the age of six get sick, they are likely to experience less severe symptoms. Remember that vaccines don't necessarily prevent all illness, but it can take it from a wild disease to a mild disease. And that's important. Dan Cefaletto with Public Health Day in Montgomery County says people should do their part to stop sickness from spreading through local communities. It's very important, no matter what the sickness is when you're sick, to stay home and stay away from other people because it's that gathering with other people, being close to people, that helps spread those diseases. How does demonstrating symptoms of what you believe is whooping cough, they can be tested at a local health care provider with a simple nasal swab. In studio, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News. Thank you, Aaliyah. The CDC recommends a series of three vaccines at two, four, and six months of age. After that, a booster shot is recommended between 15 and 18 months old. The final shot is recommended between four and six years old.